I'm so excited, I just bought myself a brand new toy, the Epson Sure Color F170. So in this video, we're going to be setting this up and then we're going to be testing it out. If you're new here, my name is Nisha, welcome to Little Craft Nest, and if you're not new, welcome back. I usually do videos on crafting and Cricut tutorials, but now we're diving into the world of sublimation. So let's go ahead, set this machine up, and then test it out. I just can't wait. So even before we plug this machine in, we are first going to fill it up with ink. So we need to remove all these blue tabs, and then we can put our ink inside of it. So each of the tank colors here have a different letter color associated with it that matches your ink colors on the bottle. So we have black, cyan, magenta, and yellow. It is very important to make sure the right ink bottle goes into the right compartment. We are going to start with the black and shake it 15 times. And then we're going to open up the package. We're going to lift up our black tab here. Take the lid off your bottle of ink and make sure you don't touch the tip at all. You don't want to have any interference going on with your ink. And then you're going to line these tabs up at the top with the tabs in your tank. And simply just put it straight upside down. And that's going to drain out all by itself. There's no need to squeeze the bottle or do anything else. And you'll notice our ink line rising here as the ink goes into our printer. You'll be able to tell when your ink is full and the bottle stops gurgling. You can just pick it back up and put the cap back on. You will also notice there's a bit of ink still left in the bottle. You will want to save that for later to top it back up after the machine gets the ink going through all of its lines. And then simply close that black tab back up and now we can move on to cyan. And we're going to do the same thing again. I decided to put my sublimation printer right next to my inkjet printer so I could plug it in. If you'd like, you can angle the front panel of your printer up so you can see the screen a little better. Then press the power button. Select your language and press OK. It's now processing. Then we're going to press and hold the question mark for five seconds. Confirm that the tanks are filled with ink and we did that already, so press OK. Now the printer is initializing, which could take up to 14 minutes. So we're going to skip ahead and I'm not going to bore you with this piece. All right, so I just finished. It says initializing complete, move on to print quality adjustment. And we're going to press OK. Align the printer to get the best print quality. It says adjust later or adjust recommended. So we're going to click on OK again says perform a print nozzle check to check print quality. So we're going to add some paper to our printer. I'm not going to use sublimation paper right now because we're just checking the nozzle heads and I don't want to use my sublimation paper quite yet. So I'm just using normal copy paper. So we're going to open this up and we're going to pull these out by squeezing this little blue piece here and then pulling these out to widen our tray. I'm going to stick the paper inside and these seem to be at the right spot. So let's shut this and I'm going to click on OK to print. So you can load letter size paper or you can use A4 paper in this nozzle check. So we're going to press OK again because we loaded our paper and you can pull out the tray as well. So it just printed out a sheet of paper and we need to check these lines. So our screen prompt says check the printed pattern and select the closest result. So do our lines look broken or whole and my lines look whole. So I'm happy with those. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And then we're going to click OK again and print. 
So now it's printed out a bunch of boxes here and we need to choose the square with the fewest streaks. So looking at mine here, number four looks like it has the fewest amount of streaks. So you can use the plus and minus keys to select which square is best for you. Mine is set on four and I'm going to click on OK. And we're going to press OK again. Now we need to choose the rectangles that are not separated or overlapped. So let's look closely here. And for me, number five looks the best, so I'm going to go ahead and press OK. And now it says print head alignment is complete. And if you want to adjust it again, you can go back to maintenance. So we're going to press OK to dismiss. And as you can see, our ink levels are lower now. So what we can do is open up our ink tank again and just refill the remaining amounts of ink into the ink tank. After your test prints are done, you can go onto your computer. You can go to epson.ca slash support slash SCF 170. Now I'm in Canada, so it's .ca, but if you're in a different country, that may be different for you. So make sure you are going to the correct website. And here you'll notice that it's already detected my operating system. I am running Mac OS. And under drivers, you can download the drivers and utility combo pack installer by clicking on download. Then go ahead and find your downloads in your download folder and open them up. Then if you want, you can read all the software installation uh, agreements and terms and conditions and all of that here. And then go ahead and click on accept. And then we're going to click on install. Then enter your password to allow Epson to make changes to your computer and then press OK. Then you're going to make sure your printer is turned on and click continue. And we've already filled up our ink, so we can click this box and click on continue. Now our printer didn't come with a direct USB connection, so we will be doing a wireless connection. Then you can go ahead and set up your printer for the first time, and you will need your network name and password for this. Then you can choose if you want to register your printer or not. And that's it, your software is installed. Now before we go ahead and start printing off our images, I want to show you one more thing. So if you go to your system settings on your computer, you can scroll all the way down to the bottom until you find printers and scanners. We're going to click on that. And here's where you'll be able to make a few changes to your printer if you wanted to. So I have two printers and my default printer right now is set to my Epson inkjet printer. But if you wanted your default printer to be your sublimation printer, you could change that here. I am going to leave my default to my inkjet printer. That way when anyone else in my household is printing items, they're not accidentally going to be printing their documents on my sublimation paper. And then we can go down here and click on our Epson SureColor printer. And right here, you'll notice that you will be able to change the name of your printer. So if you don't want to get your inkjet printer mixed up with your sublimation printer, you could change the name of this to sublimation if you wanted to. I'm just going to leave it for now, but you can always change that if you wanted to. I'm going to click on options and supplies. So this is just a general information. We can click on options and these should already all be set for you. I have my skip blank page set to off and all the other options here are set to on. If you click on supply levels, you'll see that our ink cartridges are all the way full. And then if we click on utility, this is where if you needed to, you could go ahead and clean your print heads or run test prints. So I'm just going to click on okay, and we're finished with that. Now that our printer is set up, let's load the paper, print out a design, and press it on a mug. Our Epson sublimation paper has a dull side and a light side we are going to make sure that the bright white side is facing down. Here's the image I wanna print out and I wanna put this on a mug. I got this image from Design Bundles, but I sized it using Canva, but we will go over that in another video. For now, I just wanna print this out and test out our sublimation printer. So I am on a Mac computer, so I'm going to go up to the top to file and then print at the bottom here. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you have selected the right printer. So 
This is my EcoTank printer. It's not the one I want. We gotta go down here to the Epson SureColor printer. Now, if we scroll down here under paper size, you can choose the size of paper you're using. I am using letter size, but you can also use legal or A4 paper in this printer. You can also select the orientation of your paper as well. We're just going to leave this on portrait. I have the scale set at 100%. That means the sizing that I made it when I made this on Canva is going to be the same when I print it out. If I adjusted the size to 50%, my design would be half the size. So we're going to keep it here at 100%. Under layout, there's nothing we really have to do here. We don't have to do anything under paper handling, but let's go over to printer options here. Now, if we click on color matching, we're going to keep the Epson box checked here. We're not going to change anything. And then we're going to go over to print settings. Now under media type here, we have two options rigid and textile. So textile is more like your fabric. So if you're doing a t-shirt or a tea towel, or a bag and rigid is more like those hard surfaces like a tumbler or a mug and that's what we're doing today so we're going to leave rigid checked. Now the print quality here it says normal or fine. I'm going to leave that on normal and see how that prints and you'll also notice that mirror image is checked. We always want to leave this checked and it's really cool that the Epson SureColor F170 has this feature built right into it so you don't have to remember to mirror your image every time you print it. If you didn't have your image mirrored, all your designs would turn out backwards on your finished product. So this looks all good, so we're going to click on OK. And then if we click on Printer Info here at the bottom, it's just showing us that our ink levels are all full and we're happy with that. We've already loaded our paper, so let's go ahead and click on Print and see what happens. So here is our printed image and it's mirrored just like we want it, but you will notice the colors appear slightly muted. That is normal with sublimation. Once we press it on, we're going to get the more brighter, vibrant colors. So let's go ahead, cut it out, and we are going to put it on this Cricut brand mug here. I'm going to be using my Cricut mug press today, so I'm just going to turn this on. You can use other mug presses as well. I love the Cricut mug press because you don't need to set any times or temperatures. It does it automatically all for you. So I'm going to take my mug and grab a lint roller and we're just going to clean that off quickly. I'm going to grab my design and we're going to tape it to the mug using heat resistant tape. We're going to make sure that this is nice and tight on here. We don't want to get any bubbles in our design. I've cut out three pieces of butcher paper here that we are going to tape on top and this is going to protect our mug press from any ink bleeding through. My mug press is heated up, so let's put this in and see how it turns out. And all we have to do now is wait till it beeps and then we can take our mug out. Okay, it's done. Let's take it out. All right, it is going to be very hot, so I'm not going to reveal the design yet. So let's just wait a few minutes, let it cool down, and then we'll take a look. Okay, let's go ahead and reveal our design now that this has cooled off. And there it is, the colors are popping. Here's the original and it looked a lot more faded on our paper and the ink has just baked right into our mug here and I just love this, it's so cute. And I can't wait to give this mug away as a gift. I hope you have fun learning about the Epson SureColor F170 today. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more videos like this, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and I hope to see you on more crafting adventures.